Okay, uh, this is going to be part two of um, making a Lima builder's plate. And uh, this is going to be the etching part where we actually use the ferric chloride and the little tank and actually makes does the process. Um, the first part was uh, making the plate and uh, hopefully you understood how that goes. And now we're going to do the next part. Now what this is right here is basically a plastic tank and nothing more than a plastic tank has a hole drilled in it and at the bottom of it it has a sandstone um, I don't know what you would call it but basically air can go through it and then it bubbles up they use them in aquarium tanks to, to give the little bubbles you know under the in the, in the bottom of the stones to, to, to make it look nice I guess give oxygen to the water I, I don't know what it, does, but it looks nice and that is uh, resistant to the ferric chloride. And you can buy them in an aquarium store. And what I like to do is make a longer tank out of plexiglass or, or different size tanks for a different size plates. So in that manner, you're not using so much ferric chloride. You can use uh, quite a bit of it, and it contaminates it. Every time you you um, you make a plate, it gets the the solution gets weak weaker. And this is uh, fresh stuff here. What I have left over now. This is about seven dollars for a quart and you can buy it up to gallons but if you buy it in a gallon size from the company uh, what happens is you get to pay an additional twenty dollar hazmat charge but if you buy four quarts you don't have to so that's kind of ridiculous but that's how you do it and you, you save money that way but anyway I saved the ferric chloride material when I'm done I put it in, into a container and if you let it sit for a while all the Band solution settles to the bottom, all the heavier particles settle to the bottom, and when you pour it out, you carefully pour it out without getting the sludge on the bottom, and then you can add a little bit of um, fresh stuff. Just a little bit of fresh there stuff to kind of help replenish it. Two pieces of stainless steel wire, okay, and I'm going to submerge them in the tank. Now, you want to try to put the um, writing or whatever you're etching away from the bubbles like I put it towards the side of the tank on this particular kind of a thing because you want it to etch slower because if it etches too fast and you got uh, it, it'll eat away more on one side than on the other so what you have to do is that's why you see I got three holes in there I'm going to change them around so I'm going to put them in here and uh, now if you were able to heat the solution like I mentioned um, about making the part for the aquarium you can also go to the aquarium store and buy a, a tank heater that's glass. And what I like to do is make a nice tank. Uh, and when you heat the solution, it works. Uh, one thing better. I'm concerned about on these plates, and it may not work, when the word October is kind of fine. And what that means is that it'll start etching away, and it might obliterate that because it'll etch it away. Now, if that happens, then at that point I'll have to make another negative, positive artwork and make the word October thicker, like the letters, thicker, heavier letters, beef up on the letters a little bit thicker, a little bit more heavier, and that way when it does edge down, they'll, okay. get, they'll actually get a little thinner. About 45 so, minutes elapsed now, and I've been checking it periodically, and uh, it's starting to edge down, but very slowly because the, the solution, like I mentioned, has been used, so... I don't want to. I, I, I want to try to make with these types of plates. I want to try to make it so that they etch slowly. You don't want to etch it too fast because what'll happen is it'll just eat eat away at it more on one side than on the other. So it, right now, and I can uh, let me get a paper towel here. Right now, I would say it's no more than couple thousands deep right at the moment. But you can see, I'm going to bring it up close now. There we go. You can see that it's starting to tarnish a little bit. And, it, and you can really actually see it. It's a little bit starting to um, etch in. So we're going to check it again in a little while. I would say that this place is going to probably take quite a while because of the Solution. I want to try to really make it sharp, the lettering sharp for Tim. And uh, so I'm going to take my time. I got no place to go. I'm watching the TV. Okay. 
approximately uh, an hour and a half has gone by now and I just took it out of the solution here and one of them and uh, washed it off and it started out at 65 thousandths thick and now it is well different places it's different be, depending on a uh, 61 thousandths so it, it etched down after an hour and a half four thousandths and that's about the speed that I want to do a a builder's play because you want the, the letters to be fine and it's working out pretty good so far so you just take your time and you get a really nice plate looks real professional real uh, realistic so we're going to let it go a little bit longer and one thing you can do is if you don't want to finish it in one day you can take it out wash them off real good and uh, cover the solution shut off the pump and then start the next day you, you don't have to do it all in one day it doesn't really matter as long as you don't take the green protecting off. Okay, well, it's the next day. I stopped last night and I started up again today. And I got it down to about eight thousandths deep, which I don't want to push it anymore because the way I set up this plate, it has the really fine lettering, like where it says Locomotive Works and Incorporated. And October especially is very small. I could have made it bigger, but if you these very fine lettering what happens is it etches from both sides and it etches under and it starts to thin out the lettering so you're better off keeping it a little bit smaller and then when I I'm going to bead blast this now and then when I uh, paint it or whenever it's painted and then you take a real light coating of uh, right you, you use a uh, fine sandpaper or a wet dry sandpaper or something and just go over it like that and it highlights the letters and it'll look pretty good. So um, I'll show you a close-up of it. And if you noticed, you'll see you'll see on there October and the, and at the top the number eleven seven hundred that the two O's I used a sharpie pen to fill them in because what that'll do is stop the inside from etching more. Now the Sharpie pen is the Sharpie pen is um, resistant to the acid. So if you want to stop off so to speak you can do that. Now to me that looks pretty good but that's all highlighted. It'll look real good and uh, hopefully uh, he'll like those and then he can drill cut it cut it close all the way around with a saw, bandsaw and then sand it or file it close to the edge drill the holes for whatever size attachment. I, I would use 0090 screws very carefully tapped into the smoke box and uh, uh, hold them on like that. You also have to radius it a little bit and what I do is I put it in something round and uh, you know concave like a piece of pipe or something and I very gently push it down soft copper will go around and then it's fit it so it's got a little bit of a radius to it so it fits tight against the smoke box on the top and bottom. Alrighty I just got done dust blasting them a couple minutes B blast a couple minutes and looks pretty good I wouldn't push it anymore to get them deeper uh, when it's painted and then you highlight over them again with the 600 grit sandpaper very lightly it'll highlight them look really great so there it is And uh, like I said, you just cut around the edge, close to the edge, and if you got a really fine belt sander, you carefully belt sand them. Or if you won't trust yourself belt sanding them, file them. Drill the holes, whatever size you want. Their dimples are already there for the holes. Just drill them. And uh, there you have it. Two Lima builder's plates.